Lisa Viegas standing by in the Weather Center. Lisa, we're flirting with record highs this week. Yeah, especially on Thursday here, Siobhan. That's where that temperature really skyrockets in the upper 80s. But it's not going to last forever. As we head into the weekend, now we're going to get ready for those big changes I've been hinting at. One, cooler weather, but also getting ready for rain chances. Two first alerts headed our way, especially into Sunday. Watching for that frontal system to push through, and I think Sunday is going to be the day where we see heavier amounts of rain. But even into Saturday, late that evening, as that frontal system approaches us, we could very well see these scattered showers and some thunderstorms. In the meantime, we are quiet. Temperatures tomorrow, they all well, they will eventually drop in the lower 60s once you head out the door. So a mild start, lots of sunshine, and then by tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting highs ranging from the 70s like the mountains into the mid and upper 80s like the Piedmont area over the sand hills. Notice the rain chances. They are in the forecast, especially in the mountains. And I do think we could see that isolated shower rolling over in the foothills, similar to what we saw today. But this is going to be the setup tomorrow. Watching for this backdoor cold front. So it's this cold front that kind of moves a little bit towards the west. Now, it doesn't quite hit our viewing area, but along that area, we could see some showers and some thunderstorms, but mainly across the central portion of the state. So I do think this is just going to be outside of our range. As we fast forward, tomorrow afternoon, watching for those showers and thunderstorms in parts of the mountains, especially maybe a stray isolated shower with thunderstorm rolling over in the foothills, but really watching for our eastern counties. Like I said, central portion of the state out towards the eastern area, watching for those in Richmond, maybe that isolated shower thunderstorm in the afternoon with some daytime heating. Watching for that as the cloud cover rolls in for the rest of us as well. That's going to be limited, but Wednesday, pretty gloomy showers. They are going to pop up. Wouldn't rule out some of these showers rolling through parts of Mecklenburg, especially on Wednesday evening, and that will be brief. Nothing like what we're expecting as we head into Saturday, but just an overall view of the potential rain coverage. I think Wednesday out of this week, maybe looking a little better versus this weekend when it really starts to increase because of that cold front. So there's that big temperature swing from Saturday, 83 degrees. We drop all the way down to the upper 60s on Sunday. Makes sense. That is the first alert and then even the beginning stages of that on Saturday. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. I want to give you some time to absorb this tomorrow morning. 61 degrees mid 80s by the afternoon hours and then on Wednesday getting ready for the cloud cover isolated showers popping up, especially that evening ramps up a little bit, but we clear out by Thursday and that is when we get ready for near record breaking heat. The record on Thursday 89 degrees Siobhan and the forecast 88 and that is a look at what we can expect. Lisa, thank you.